Hey, what's up, everybody? First and foremost, I want to thank all the new subscribers this week. Every week we've been getting new subscribers, and I really appreciate all the feedback and comments. If you're new to this channel, and maybe this is one of the first videos you've watched, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button uh, before this video is over, and we'd love to have you part of the channel. Today, I have long awaited, wanted to bring my buddy Kurt on, uh, on a video. He didn't know he was going to be in the video when he got here, and I was like, no, you're in the video. And he's like, no, I'm not. I'm like, yes, you are. So anyway, a much disgruntled good friend here. But to, to get right into it, he, uh, he's been talking about, I, I helped teach him bass probably about three years ago. About three years ago, um, he plays in the band at church that I lead. And uh, we were short a bass player. He's like, well, I think that's something I could do. So I taught him. And uh, now every time I see a good deal on a bass, I send it to him. And much to his wife's chagrin, he buys it. <laughs> and uh, how many basses now? Four. So that's that's about, you know, one and a half a year, right? <laughs> one and a half basses a year. <laughs> we won't show this to them. <laughs> anyway, um, so I... Uh, He's been talking about getting an acoustic bass for a while, and he's gone back and forth. And uh, we have an acoustic thing that we're doing with our team coming up. And he's like, should I buy an acoustic bass? And he's been playing with the idea, and uh, no pun intended. And I was just like, I don't know, man, it's your money. But we found this one on Walmart.com. And I'm like, it's $80 on sale right now. Even if it's a piece of garbage and you play it for this one show for the look of it, um, it's probably worth it. But, anyway, for any of you who may have looked at this base on Walmart, you know, dot com for seven, other places, too. 79 bucks, originally it was like 160 and, uh, so we just got it in, we unboxed it, and, uh, we're gonna give you guys some quick sound samples. This is the base right here. I can't really, uh, see what it looks like on camera, but I was actually pretty surprised the, uh, the fret levels on the side like it doesn't have a lot of fret overhang surprisingly it's it's a little bit it's pretty loud a little bit out of tune I think it's still kind of getting acclimated you adjusted the truss rod because it was a little bit warped I will say the action out of the box is pretty high um, it does have electronics so you can plug it in and uh, but you can always shave down the uh, saddle here a little bit to get rid of some of that action, maybe fine tune the truss rod. Um, it had a few dinks out of the box, so it's. You had one, one in the front there that you can't just two pass over there, right? So, yeah, you won't. It's not going to come out of the box perfect, but once again, $79, especially if you're not going to be using it much. Uh, we went back and forth a little bit because there's a lot of guys who say they're just not loud enough. You know, everybody thinks, well, I'll sit around a campfire and play it with the other guys playing acoustic guitar. Um, we just messed around with it, and if you play it with a pick, which I know most of you bass players out there watching this right now hate doing, uh, if you play the bass with a pick, it does keep up with an acoustic guitar. We probably won't have time to test that uh, tonight for you. We will give you some good sound samples real quick uh, before this video is over. But definitely, if you play this with a pick, it, it does keep up with an acoustic guitar, but... If you just finger it out, it's it's not quite loud enough to keep up with acoustic guitar, especially if somebody's singing. But with a pick, it's not bad. Um, like I said, for 79 bucks, I'm pretty impressed. It's definitely a, like an Indonesian, just kind of punched out thing. But if you're not looking for, you know, acoustic bass that you want to spend 400 bucks and up on, and you just want it for a show or two. This could be a pretty good option or to take to a campfire or something. So check it out. Let's get some sound samples. So I think for a $79 base, you can't really go wrong, especially for the sale. I mean, granted, the action is really, really bad. 
It's, uh, it is pretty difficult to play. It's a little bit buzzy, but then again, it's a $79 base, and sometimes you do stuff for one show more for a look. You can tell how many times I've done that, where it's like, I used to play with a Gracie stand where it held my acoustic. I didn't need that. I like the way my electric sounded better for certain songs, but it just helped put on the show. So sometimes you do stuff for the show. Um, uh, why don't you say a couple things about the uh, the reviews that you read about changing strings and yeah, well, the biggest things I, I found pretty much all the same um, same results that I saw in previous reviews. The the action's high out of the box, uh, so we're going to need to do some work on that. Uh, first thing they said they did was change the strings. I noticed on here the E string is pretty dead, so I've got some Diodario strings we'll be putting on there. Again, was recommended. Um, the fretboard is very dry, uh, almost has a white, uh, dry, it's so dry it's almost whitish. Uh, so we're going to oil that up, that'll, that'll clean that up. Um, that was pretty much the main knocks against it. Uh, some of the pluses, again, like I said, the price was right. Um, for a cheap guitar to have a truss rod, I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, that was one of the first adjustments I had to do out of the box. I was hoping that would help with the action, but it just can't gain enough um, on that. Uh, came with a tuner. I didn't. I didn't read anything about the tuner. I just opened up and there was a tuner in the box, so that was pretty good. Uh, it's kind of like one of those snark tuners, but it's actually mm -hmm. a pretty nice one. It, it really is. I mean, it's nicer than. It was just a surprise when I opened the box, so that was cool. Uh, again, for seventy-nine bucks, by the time I bought a bag for it, the strings um, and a button strap, uh, because I didn't like the location of where the two buttons are for the strap. Um, I think I have total said and done is about one hundred and twenty-three dollars. So, for, like I said, for a once in a while thing and uh, just to, to mess with, yeah, it's worth the money. Yeah, if you're a beginning bass player, I definitely wouldn't recommend this, but only because it's hard to play and it's going to discourage you. But if you're a more experienced bass player and you need something just for an acoustic show, um, but you don't want to drop 400 bucks and you only have a few acoustic shows and you just want it for the look, I don't think you could go wrong with something like this. It's not going to be the best playing experience you've ever had. But if you have a short set of acoustic stuff that you just need to get through um, at a small club or something, I don't see where you can go wrong. I thought the preamp actually sounded halfway decent. When I did the line, I just did like a, uh, a DI preamp type of thing. And then I, I set all the levels on the preamp in the bass at zero. And then I just boosted the presence because it did sound kind of hollow without it. But... Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. It has a few dinks and like little cracks here in the finish here and there. But I mean, from the stage, nobody's going to see it. It actually looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, especially for the price. So I hope this helps you guys make your decision. Definitely check it out if you're looking for something for a couple of shows for, uh, for the look of an acoustic bass. Or if you want something to bring to a campfire, like I said, you're going to need to use a pick because it's definitely not loud enough to keep up with an acoustic guitar, but if you do use a pick, it keeps up pretty good. So that being said, I hope this video has helped you, and as always, you guys keep rocking. <laughs> Outtake. That's a wrap. That's it. I'm telling you. I'm supposed to kiss your nose. <laughs> Turn the camera off. <laughs>